So this is the Plevo Runner. It's a carry-on luggage bag jam-packed with state-of-the-art technology and security features never seen before in a luggage bag. Now, the bag is designed for those travelers who are seeking style, design, and convenience, along with the key word, technology. So we're talking about features like Face ID, Touch ID, Morse code, weight detection, distance alerts, and lots more. Now the question is, how are we supposed to have these type of features in a bag? Well, you're about to find out. Without further ado, let's just get it out of the box, shall we? Wow. So here it is guys, first impressions. It's a very stylish looking bag. Now, it's made from polycarbonate. It's got a tough and durable feel to it. And I really like the aluminium trims on the sides. It really gives it a nice touch. So there's a lot going on in this bag. There's a lot of buttons and compartments that we are gonna go through. Let's quickly go through the dimensions. This bag is 55.8 centimeters in height. It's 35.3 centimeters in width. And in depth, it's 22.8 centimeters. It's 4.2 kgs in weight. Now that's without the wheels on. When you put the wheels on, that would bump up to 4.6 kgs. Let's have a quick look inside the bag first of all. Check out the compartments, but also there are some hidden accessories inside that we need to take out before we start checking out the tech features. Now the bag is locked by default. You can see that it's locked in place. You just tap this to the right and it just flies open. It's an interesting slanting design of the zip. So first of all, on the upper compartments, you've got a lot of zip pockets. What's in here? It's a quite exciting design. You've got stickers, Plevo stickers. You know when a company gives you their stickers, you know they're not messing around. They mean business. All right, so what else do we have? The keys. So quality pair of security keys you have here. You've got two. What else do we have hidden in the bag? Okay, the whole of this top compartment opens. Nice. And then you've got another compartment here. Which opens up plastic part of the bag. I've got no idea what you would put in that compartment. Probably never gets used. Now onto the main compartment you've got this velcro straps and a what could be a laptop sleeve. It's not that well padded. No real idea what this could be used for if it's not used for a laptop. If you guys know what you would use this for do let me know in the comments. Now what do we have here? We've got another bag of goodies. So I'm expecting the power bank to be in here as well. So. Ooh, look at that. Removable wheels. Quick look at the wheels. Look at that presentation for the wheels. Let's take one out. So the wheels are made from plastic. You've got that lovely gold finish, but it is plastic. Um, they do feel quite durable though. They don't feel flimsy at all. You've got the Plevo logo on both sides. Now, what else do we have in this bag? All right, another box. And this is the one I think I've been waiting for. Designed in the future, assembled in the present. I like that. The Plevo is actually designed in Argentina, believe it or not. Now check this out. Power bank. Now this is an 8,000 million power power bank. It slots in to the bag, and I'll show you where that goes in a bit. We've got one bar at the moment, so it's not arrived charged. You can see the battery clippings on the back, just slots into the bag. USB 3, USB A, you've got a USB type C and a micro USB as well. So plenty of ports. So micro USB charger is included in the box. So you've got yourself a little drawstring bag. You can use it as a wash bag, I guess, but that's included. So I guess you can make use of that too. Compartment over here, zip up on the side. And your main compartment. I will check the wheels on very quickly. So you've got a button here, a lever. When you press it, you will see the metal piece inside move slightly. So hopefully you can see that. So you drop 
the wheel in. Now all you're doing is pushing that button back and you see that wheel just dropped in place. Let go and that's secure. If you want to remove the wheel, push the button, lift the wheel out. So there's no forcing going on here, it's simple stuff. I like that design. Let's put all the wheels on. Nice. I actually feel like going somewhere, going on a holiday, going on a break, just so I can test this bag out practically. It's that good. All right, so all the wheels are locked in, nice. Of course they are 360 wheels, so your bag will go in any direction. Beautiful, nice. Okay, so handles on the top, you got like a full size handle here. Press the button and out they go. And that handle is nice. And by lifting up that handle, you're getting access to the power bank compartment. So pull this side back. Here is a power bank, it's not charged, it's only one bar, but I am gonna slot it in anyway. And this power bank will then there, that's in. Not only will it power all functions of the bag, but it will also give you power when you need it. So 8,000 milliamp hours you're getting there. Now the next thing I want to show you is a compartment on the back. So that's the front of the bag. On the back of the bag, you have a compartment over here. To access it, all you're doing is pressing this button down at the moment, because it's not locked and it's not programmed with the fingerprint yet. And then it'll give you access to a compartment designed especially for your laptop. And it actually comes with a laptop sleeve bag. So a padded plevo sleeve bag, it's a zip up. And basically that is ideal for your MacBook Pro. So or 13 or any 13 inch laptop. What I know is this is exactly perfect fit for a 13 inch laptop. Now the best part about it is you've got your laptop in there, you close it, and anytime you want to access your laptop, you don't have to open your, your main compartment. You can also have your documents and your passports in here for easy and convenient access. Now, that is going to be my favorite compartment. When I'm traveling, I've got papers and documents and everything all over the place. This is called organized and convenience. It's time to set up this bag. And I do want to quickly show you the setup process as well. So you download the Plevo app. You can get it on both iOS or Android smartphones. So this is my iPhone. So then you'll see this setup screen. So click on the arrow, choose your bag. So runner, infinite or up. These are the different models available. I picked up the runner, which is basically hand luggage. And this bag is within the maximum hand luggage size for most of the major airlines. So you can take this with you on EasyJet, British Airways, and you've got no trouble there. It fits within their, their size limits. So this is the runner. I'm gonna select runner over here. Now it says, it's already done it itself. It didn't give me a chance to even read the Bluetooth bit. It's already got a tick there. My Bluetooth was on on my phone, and it's. I think it's already detected that we have the runner. So let's press tick. It says set up, so if I click on the runner, low battery warning, please charge the device. So we know that the device is low battery, so I will be charging it soon. We have all these functions on the bottom. So if I click on this one, first of all, that's your GPS. So that will tell you pinpoint exactly where your bag is. So that's very, very, very interesting. You got information over here, so click on the eye. It will tell you your battery, your firmware version, and you can check for updates. So I will check for an update. Current version is already latest. So we've got the latest firmware already ready to go. 25% battery left. So I've got to be quick. Now you've got a digital lock. So if I click on digital lock, side or back. So you can choose what you want to lock. Do you want to lock the side or do you want to lock the back? So I, I want to lock the back, my laptop compartment at the back. So let's click close. Now that's apparently locked. Yeah, that is locked. I can't open that now. So I have a choice to open with the key. I've got the keys in, I will test that out. Yep, that opened with the key. But otherwise, I digitally locked the bag. How cool is that? You also have the option to open with biometrics. So I want to do that right now. So face ID, unlocked. So that basically unlocked with my face. I wanna do this again now. So that's locked, the bag is locked. 
and I want to unlock it with my face. So you open the biometrics, look at your phone, the light turns on here, and the bag is now unlocked. So that's biometrics for you. Let's go back. You've got a digital scale. How many times have you been on holiday and you can't find your weighing scales or you're worried whether you're over the weight limit or not? Well, this bag will check its own weight. So we're gonna test out the weight and I'm gonna put a laptop in there first of all. So it's a 13 inch generic laptop. I'm not even putting it in the case. Closing the compartment and we are gonna test out the weight of the bag. So what you do is you grab your app, click on digital scale and then you just click start to collaborate and that is it. It's going to basically test out the weight of the bag. So watch this. It automatically weighs the bag directly on your smartphone. So on the smartphone, it actually says right now 6.4 kgs. I'll put that down and I'll quickly show you. So you've got 6.4 kgs. Now your ability to use biometrics is based on your smartphone. So when you want to digitally unlock your bag, you have to go to digital lock section and then you just click on whichever compartment you want. You will have the option to open with biometrics or open with key. If you click on open with biometrics, it will unlock using face ID of your smartphone. That bag is now unlocked. Now the iPhone 11 Pro doesn't have a fingerprint scanner. There is no fingerprint scanner, so, uh, so the option is not there. But if you use a different phone which has a fingerprint scanner, you will then have the option to unlock this bag using your smartphone's fingerprint sensor. So no matter how you want to unlock your bag, most of the time you're going to be using your smartphone to do it. But if you don't want to use your smartphone to unlock the bag, you have the option for Morse code. And if you don't want to use any of the digital functions, and you want to keep it old school, you've got the keys. So you can just unlock your bag straightforward with the key. And if you don't want to lock your bag at all, you don't have to, you can leave it unlocked. Because I know some airlines, especially in the US, they don't want you to lock your bag. So you can leave it unlocked and you've got easy access whenever you like. So same controls on the side of the bag. So the zip is locked in place. You can use Morse code. And I'll test Morse code out for you right now. So the red light represents Morse code. And one more time and that should be unlocked. There you go, the bag's now unlocked. So we used Morse code there to unlock this side of the bag and the code was really easy so you can't go wrong. Again, you have the key option, you can digitally unlock it from the smartphone or you have the option to basically not lock it. You can have it plugged into place and simply open it when you need to. So there you have it guys, that was the incredible smart carry-on luggage bag, the Plevo Runner. And to break it down for you guys, this bag has the ability to check its own weight. The bag has a 20 meter Bluetooth range. So once paired to your smartphone, if you move away up to 20 meters, it will send you an alert that you are away from your bag and you need to go and pick that bag up. Now you've got a removable 8,000 milliamp hour power bank built in. The battery pack is compliant with airline regulations and you can charge all your devices at the same time as powering the bag itself. Not only that, you also have a hidden internal backup battery. So if the power bank was dead and you used up all the juice, there is also a backup battery inside the bag so it can continue tracking and continue all the security features to keep your bag protected. Now you've got an easy access compartment for your electronics, ideally for a 13 inch laptop. So when you're going through airport security, it gives you an instant convenient access to your computer without having to open your entire bag and making a scene in front of security. And, and we've all done it. So I love the convenience of this. Another great feature is the removable wheels. How many times has your wheels broken on your luggage bag? Now 99% of the time when something breaks, it's usually got something to do with the wheels. Now having removable wheels has its advantages, especially if you're going to check the bag in or if you're going to store the bag in the boot of your car. And very easy to remove the wheels, just press the button and the wheels will simply slide off or slide on. Now the smart features include of course, Face ID, Touch ID and Morse code. Face ID and Touch ID work with your smartphone and Morse code can be set up from the smartphone app. You just set up your four digit code and you can open that bag using Morse code. This is probably the most incredible bag I have tested so far on the channel. And I do look forward to testing the waters, taking this out with me practically on a flight, 
to see how I get on. So when I do do that, you can expect a follow-up video. Now I understand the bag is not by any means cheap, but this is technology, people. My job is to bring technology to your TV screen, to your smartphone screen, to your computer screen. That's my job, and here it is. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys appreciate that technology is coming from all angles and I'm always looking forward to checking out that tech and presenting it to you guys. Now we'll leave the links in the description box below so you guys can check this product out. The Plevo Runner people. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.